Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how to build an Android application with HTML and C Sharp using the .NET MAUI Blazor inside of Visual Studio 2022. We will also explore quickly the necessary components needed for us to get started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So Blazor, Blazor is a framework for building interactive client web UI with .NET. And MAUI apps or .NET MAUI is a framework used to build native cross-platform desktop and mobile apps from a, sing a single C Sharp code base. So enough of all of the talking, let's get into the real stuff here. So as you can see here, yeah, I've got a Visual Studio installer opened. Yeah. So let's explore very quickly the necessary components needed for us to get started. So as you can see, I've installed a Visual Studio Community 2022. So let's click on the modify. So as you can see here, we've got this workload. So we scroll down here. Yeah? So here, as you can see, we've got desktop and mobile. Yes. Yeah? So this is a .NET multi-platform app UI development. So this is to build Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac apps from a single code base using C Sharp with .NET MAUI. So you have to make sure that you've got this box checked, you download and install it. So once, you, once you're done with that, then we can get onto the next stage here. Yeah? So I'm just going to close the Visual Studio installer. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio here. So we go ahead and create a new project. So a new project, create a new project here. Yeah? So here on this bit here, you can leave it as all languages or platforms, but here you can select the Blazor. Yeah, so once you select the Blazor, so as you can see, we've got a bunch of um, potential um, projects that you can use. So this is what we're looking for. So it's a .NET MAUI Blazor app. Yeah, so this is a project for creating a .NET MAUI application for iOS, Android, Mac Catalyst, WinUI, and, and whatnot. Yeah, so we, we select this bit here and we click on the next so here obviously you can configure your project details yeah but we're not going to look too much into that yeah so we click on the next and here you can select whatever .NET framework that is ap applicable to you so let's as you can see i've got .NET 6.0 and .NET 7.0 so we leave it at the uh .NET 7.0 yeah okay so we click on the create So it might take a while for the whole um, project to, to load. So I'm just going to, okay, we've got everything fired up. So we're ready to go. So as you can see, yeah, we've got a project template created for us, okay? So let's go ahead and look what is inside of the template. So let, let's start with the data. So this is just a very simple data model that um, uh, the um, weather forecast data model, yeah. And then we've got the services that is attributed to the data model. We're not going to look too much into that, yeah. Let's go into the pages here. So the pages obviously include a razor extension, yeah. So the razor is a combination of C sharp and HTML code. Okay, so let's click on the index dot razor. So as you can see, we've got this very simple stuff here. So if we look at it here, we have got um, uh, we've got an HTML code here. Yeah. So basically, with the razor, you can fuse an HTML and C sharp code together to build your application. So let's look at the counter dot razor. So as you can see, yeah, we've got this HTML, and we've also got um, a C sharp code here. So to write the C sharp code here, yeah, use the as code here yeah, and you surround it with a parenthesis. Okay. So this is just a very simple that is actually adding. Once you click a button, it adds a number to it. So it's just, so we've got this uh, variable, uh, an integer variable, current count. And obviously, we've got a current count plus plus, but this is just to add it whenever you click on it. Okay. So let, we've got this, uh, let's have a look at the fetch data that raised as well. So, so this is just a uh, service. This is the, obviously to get the data 
from the what we looked at on the data side of the weather forecast service. So as you can see, we've got um, a sample data created for us. So this actually returned a bunch of weather for I mean the weather forecast sample data. Okay, so th this is where the uh, the fetch data dot razor grabs the data. Okay. So let's look at the uh, platforms as well, the platform folder. So this is actually what type of platforms that you can actually target with this project. So basically you can target an Android platform, iOS, Mac Catalyst, Tizen, and whatnot, okay? So let's quickly look at what is inside the resources folder. So the resources folder, yeah, contains the application icons, the fonts, images, and whatnot, yeah. So basically, this is where you put your fonts, the images, and that kind of stuff, yeah. So let's look at the shared, the shared folder. So the shared, the shared folder, we have uh, the main layout, yeah. So this is this is the main layout. So this is just a partial page, yeah, of the main layout of the application. Of, of the project and we've got the navigation menu so the nav the nav monitor razor so this actually this contains the navigation menu okay and we've got a survey prompt so once we actually run the project we will, we can see what is actually going on okay so let's go quickly go into the the main dot razor so let's collapse the, the shared so the main dot razor so this is this is actually, as you can see, is actually referencing the main layout, which is inside uh, uh, the shared folder, okay? And then we have got the main page. If we look at it here, so the main page here, so this actually references the main, which is the main dot razor. So this is the root, the root page for the, uh, for the project, okay? So as we can see, there's nothing really difficult about this. Yeah, so I'm just doing this video to, to get you started. So let's run the application and see what is going on. So as you can see on the top here, we can have a drawdown here. So here, obviously, as you can see, we can we can run this same um, project on a bunch of platforms here. Yeah. We've got the Android, we've got the iOS local device. We've got uh, the, the Windows, the, the local machine, the Windows. I'm actually using the Windows 10. So let's have a look at the Android, the Android emulator. So I'm going to select my Android emulator, okay? So let's run the application and see what actually comes out. So I'm just gonna pause the video while the whole application runs. So as you can see here now, we've got the application started up, man. So yeah, if we look at it here, yeah, we've got the application running. We've got the menu here. So if we look at it, yeah, hello world, welcome to our new app here. Yeah. Let's go, let's go back to the index. Let's go back to the solution explorer and index.razor. So as you can see here, this is what is actually showing on the main page. Hello world, welcome to your new app. Yeah. So you can continue and build from this bit here. So I'm just going to leave the video here so you can have a look and explore the code further. Yeah. But maybe on my previous videos here, we will start from scratch and build our own application. Okay. So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. Yeah. So I, ho I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.